Hey guys, Mars Thinking here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and today we are showing off the free to play Bardock, the second episode of this little mini series. Uh, obviously yesterday we did the Farsha video. Now I did mention in that video that obviously the best team to showcase all of the other units on is obviously under the new uh, Bardock on the low class warriors team but of course we can't do that for this bardock because they share the same name so i am going to show him off on the goku family team because uh, we do have the same leader skill there at least with the 170 percent attack um, and there is actually a very good link partner for him so as always i checked out the uh, linking partner website um, and surprisingly enough, the GT Spirit Bomb Goku that we all got for free uh, during the four year, as long as you did the event and everything, obviously, um, shares a lot of links. Like, this this Bardock's main attack links are Saiyan Pride for 15% and Experienced Fighters for 10%. He does also have Saiyan Warrior Race, but that's one of those ones that still really needs to be updated because it's only like 700 attack, so... Not the best, but of course they do then also share Prepared for Battle and Shattering the Limit. So basically he'll be able to auto super, which is very, very good. And then of course, because Goku's uh, secondary part of his leader skill is Super AGL, I also brought along this Great Ape Tora, uh, since he can provide some support as well as the uh, extra link or two. I mean, really the only extra link is Team Bardock for <laughs> one key. So, not really, uh, not really super useful. But that Tora is a support unit. Plus, you know, it kind of fits the uh, the flavour of showing off the OG Bardock. So, uh, so Bardock's main gimmick. Obviously, everyone on the team has one. Uh, his main gimmick is that he is a nuker. So he gets 18% attack per key sphere obtained. And then he reduces damage received by 10% per Team Bardock category ally on the team, up to a maximum of 50%. So, that is actually really good. Obviously, here we are not running a full Team Bardock team. But, obviously, we can't really do that. I mean, we can, kind of, with the units that are in the game at the moment. But, we won't really be able to see some of these guys at their full potential until we do actually have the full team and the LR unlocked. And then, obviously... I will do uh, various videos and showcases of the Team Bardock uh, team, but Bardock, at least everyone's got uh, new unique super attack animations, um, over 800,000 attacks that obviously slightly better than the Farsha, who we showed off yesterday, who is much more of a defensive unit, but then of course Bardock being a nuker, his output is going to solely rely on how many orbs you can pick up for him, so... Obviously, if we get like a bad turn, um, he's not going to do much damage at all. Uh, I really want you to just take these greens. Because I want to leave all of those reds there for Bardock. Okay. So let's just do this then, I guess. But we are finally going to have Bardock linked up with uh, that GC Goku uh, on this next turn. So we should get a bit of a better idea of what he can do since he's actually going to have his attack links activated and of course everyone else at the moment just uh, healing up <laughs> Dr. Jiro which I guess doesn't really matter prolonging the inevitable but I mean this way we just get more time to see Bardock in action so we finally have the support here so Let's go ahead and do this. And then we have got a lot of orbs here. So what's that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, there you go. So that's a 180% boost. So very, very good. And then we will grab all of those for you. So he can also seal, which is, I guess, a very typical Bardock unit sort of thing. He does supreme damage and seals super attacks. Uh, his leader skill, low class warriors, keep us to HP attack and defense 50%. I believe all of the team Bardock free to play units have a leader skill along those lines, if not exactly the same. Um, and then his links, aside from the ones we talked about, he of course has team Bardock. Um, 
Saiyan lineage, Shattering and Limit Predator Battle. The really important ones are Saiyan Pride and Experienced Fighters, which can be sort of easy. Experienced Fighters is one of those weird ones, but Saiyan Pride, obviously a lot of the newer units that are coming out for this celebration do have this link, so you're not going to struggle too much to find a uh, Saiyan Pride linking unit for him. Um, the only reason I even bought Goten on this team is because of the uh, his ability to change orbs. I just wanted to try and create as many orbs as possible for Bardock. Um, I did also bring the STR orb changing item. I just want to see the, the maximum rotation that we're going to get out of him is going to be when we have him with of course the Spirit Bomb Goku and then with the physical Super Saiyan 2 Gohan who gives the 35% support but this uh, Tora is a support unit as well 18-2. yeah so they don't share any extra attack links it's just extra key which obviously at this point we don't really need so okay so what's this six orbs okay so six orbs with support on the rotation Six orbs kind of seems to be like a general average, like on unless you're using items, you're never really ever going to pick up more orbs than that unless you get a really crazy lot of luck with a, a huge cluster like gathering together on one side. So that seems like a pretty reasonable amount. Plus he has his attack links active, so let's see what he can do here. Yeah, see over 1.1 mil, that's pretty good. Um, hopefully we can get a rotation of him with support and a ton of orbs because I really want to see him hit like a crazy big number but I guess we will have to wait and see so hmm. yeah see I want to try and get rid of any any non red orbs and potentially I want to keep blue ones if I can but heal up here just in case I'm not going to be getting supers with uh, either of the Gokus by the looks of it. I might just grab those now just to get them out of the way because then we can do this. Okay so if I use the orb changing item on the next turn <clears throat> that is going to create a lot of STR orbs so we'll see exactly what Bardock can put out. So out of all of the units, um, Bardock obviously very straightforward, he is just a nuka, he does seal which is nice, but unfortunately for him, and I did mention this briefly before, but he shares the name with the new summonable unit, which of course is the uh, big rip to the old physical LR. Um, so obviously if you do pull the new Bardock, then you're never going to use this guy. And then if you want to run the Team Bardock team, uh, when the LR finally comes out, if you have the physical LR Bardock, he's on that category. So he is much better. So just to quickly show the build, I did give him 7 additional 13 crit. Because he is a sealer, um, he doesn't really need to additional, he only needs to super attack that one time to seal the enemy. And then of course he's a nuker, so we're going for like one big hit. Um, plus on these free to play units, like giving them like level 1 or 2 dodge is kind of pointless. Even though I do love my level 3 dodge on normal units. You get so few points to allocate on these ones that I don't think it's worth it. So, it's alright, let's put you in the front. Let's go ahead and use this. And then we can go ahead and get... Actually, which one is more? It's only going to pick up that extra one at the side, isn't it? Yeah, so let's go up here. So we should see a pretty high number this turn. Obviously, it is slightly artificially inflated due to using the items. But, you know, I just want to see him put out a crazy number. 1.5. So not bad for a free-to-play unit. And, of course, being that that Goku is also free-to-play, uh, his best link partner on this team is another free to play unit so yeah that is actually overall pretty decent so the Bardock very good um, he's very solid like, I, like I, I'll probably mention this in every part just without even thinking but 
in future because they did it for the Ginyu Force. It's kind of one of the only main reasons to speculate. We will potentially get a Team Bardock Super Battle Road stage. Um, but as I say, because the physical LR is on that category, if you have him, you're probably not ever going to run this guy. Like if you're in a position like me where you have the physical LR and you have the new Dokon Fest unit, like after finishing recording this showcase, I'm literally never going to use this unit unless it's for... I mean, I will do a video of the full free-to-play Bardock team, but like in my own personal like playing, I'm never going to use this guy. So it's very unfortunate. It's cool that we've got another Bardock card. I do really like the art. But unfortunately, he's kind of the uh, odd man out in the sense that his card doesn't really have a lot of use. Whereas, of course, all the other members didn't really have good cards. Like, they had great ape cards, but the other cards that existed that were not great apes were like R's or SR's. So, the other ones are all very welcome, but unfortunately, this new Bardock is a little bit out of place. But... Anyway, let me know what you think about him down below. Have you tried him out? Obviously, if you don't have the physical LR or the new one, then he is a pretty solid unit. Very good for free-to-play, especially with that damage reduction, which will come into play when we get the full Team Bardock team. So let me know what you think of him down below. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master again. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can follow me on Twitch or join my Discord. The link is in the description below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.